What is going on guys? Dylan Spangenberg, Fitness TV here, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to improve your PDGA disc golf rating. So, I'm going to go over a couple things that are going to be key for you to improve your game, improve your rating, and start climbing up the ranks and getting better. So, first and foremost, the rating system is designed for you to show not what you're capable of, but what you can actually do. So the first thing that I want to focus on is going to be shot selection. Now, shot selection is going to be take, making the most logical decision when you're playing in a round. So if I'm playing in a tournament round, we could have, we could have a small gap and we could have a big gap. Now, well, let's say I'm a, I'm a really strong four-handed player. I don't have a very good backhand. Um, the backhand is headed towards the big gap. The forehand is headed towards the small gap. Me thinking I'm not capable of throwing a backhand through the gap, I'm gonna have to force a forehand that I don't need to throw through a small gap and you know possibly hit a tree or possibly go out of bounds and basically waste a stroke and bogey or double bogey or even triple bogey a hole. What moments like that are, they're not moments where you need to get stressed out, but you need to take a mental note of exactly what happened and then go out to the course and actually practice that exact shot. So identifying your weaknesses is going to be the first tip. My most important tip that I want to show you guys is not only to practice, but to practice your putting. So. What I did to get better at putting, and by no means am I a stellar putter, I'm finally making most of my circle one putts when I used to make one out of two or three circle one putts. Now I feel like I make, you know, maybe seven, eight out of 10, maybe on a good day, nine or 10 out of 10, I'll make circle one putts. So what I did to get better at that putting is I picked a putter that I really like. I tested out you know, my friend's putters. I felt what came out of my hand smooth. You need to identify what you like in a putter and what you don't like in a putter. So I putt with, I putt with classic soft wardens. Now, they don't have a bead, so that's a check. They don't have an overmold. Feels comfortable in my hand. Comes out of my hand extremely clean. What I did, I went out, I found the cheapest possible thing that I know that I like. I you know, found that I like classic soft wardens. I went out and bought five of them. I have three here and I have two in my bag. The two in my bag are pretty worn down. I'm pretty fond of them, so I just keep those in my bag. When I go practice putting, I will use these. So I went and bought five putters, so now I can actually legitimately go out, practice putting, and get better and better over time. So I'll throw my five putts, grab it, throw my five putts, grab them out, instead of throwing a putt, walking up, grabbing it out, throwing a putt, what being able to throw five putts before you have to go get your discs is going to do is allow you to make the adjustments you need to critique your form and start actually making putts. You might miss the first one and then make the next four. If you only owned one putter, then you would not even have that opportunity to make the next four. You would just get dialed in and miss again. So as far as you improving your rating, again, having that good shot selection keeping composed, being prepared, practicing your putting and having amazing shot selection. Those are the things that are gonna help you get better and also focusing on your craft, practicing, and just going out and having fun, not putting too much pressure on yourself to be amazing. I didn't win any events this year. I feel as though I played, you know, well. I, I don't think I'm the greatest player, but I show up and do what I'm supposed to do when I play tournaments. And a lot of my friends that I play with, they may beat me in practice rounds, but then when we show up to tournaments, I, I beat them extremely consistently. And the reason, you know, the reason being is because I know what I need to do to play my game when, you know, the time is right. I focus, I focus on shot selection, and in those practice rounds, I'm working on what I need to work on. Let's say you, you have three guys with primarily backhand shots, you're on a, a, a hole or the basket's off to the right and you see three 
Anheuser backhands, all three of them park it. So you see, oh man, I have to throw an Anheuser backhand, but I'm not really good at the Anheuser backhand. I can't throw a big turnover because you're primarily a four-handed player. You need to focus on what you're good at and do what you're good at and play your game. <coughs> you doing what other people do isn't going to help you do better at what you do. You practice what you need to practice when you're doing casual rounds. You practice, you do what you know you're good at in a tournament. So instead of throwing that turnover backhand that you know you suck at, go ahead and line up your forehand that you know you're comfortable with. But it can really get in your head to see three people throw the same line and you're throwing a different line. If you're confident in that line, just throw the line. I know a lot of people, they, they get caught up in what everybody else is doing and they fail. So do what you're comfortable with and do what you know you're capable of doing. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. This is Dylan Spangenberg Fitness TV and I'm out. Peace.